guys, good morning and welcome to our channel, Retired and Happy in the Philippines. So, me and my husband are together doing the opening and we would like to thank everyone to, to all of our subscribers that keep supporting us, giving us reminders, they're giving us tips and advices. And for my number one fan, my bashers, his bashers, thank you guys. <laughs> Let's get started today's video. Wow, you guys noticed that there is one, two already standing for the column and on the bottom the foreman and his killed person are revising our beddings because my husband wanted to be more uh, in the bottom now what they are doing as a plan b beside tying using the wires is they will put a 12 mm rebar around it because we did instruct them to strengthen the bottom now they're redoing the bottom bed i think they're removing the wire of one of the 16 mm and then they will put it over the top of the uh, column uh, feet so we'll see what's gonna happen Kasi hindi naman ito para lamay ang mat. Para hindi siya mama sa baba. So now they did tie the bottom feet of the column. And then they are like four. Then the other side too. And after this, they will weld a 12mm across. And then the other side too. This is the only column we're gonna do this and then the rest will be over the top. Okay, so this is what they're doing, the 12 mm over the top of the leg. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they did the U shape of the 12 mm around it. Alright, so they are bringing the... Uh, column to the bottom of the footing Sige, gawa nang lalo yung baka kaya ni Tin Atoy ulan na kayong makawakan Kapitang ulaw! Guy, paki! Angat! Wow! The two person on the bottom is the most strongest Angat! 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 Wow. Wow, awesome job, guys. I'm sure one of the subscribers will request a crane. crane. <laughs> uh, you guys should have a crane in there. It's a lot easier for your people. <laughs> well, this is how it works in the Philippines. Made by hand. Very manual. It's all manual here. This is how they make the uh, column stand by itself. And they're putting a long rebar all the way to the other side, supporting each other. And then they also use another rebar right here as a support as well on the side. And that's the marker. Alright, so now this is the second uh, column footing that they're doing. And we requested to keep it the, the primary one that they did to be on the top of the bedding. So what they did is remain on the top and then they, we requested to put a 12, a 12 mm around it. So I don't know if you can see guys. Right there, the river is huge shape on top of the 16 mm foot of the column. We got a delivery, some well needed uh, Portland cement, another load after yesterday's load, a whole truck load. This will uh, do us really good for a little bit. We got a lot of pouring coming up. So, this is how much cement we're getting. 
and it's the same brand of the first one that they use it's the eagle cement with the mixture of portland look how much we're getting wow plus this one so this is how much cement we got today wow we're ready for pouring our column and I just noticed that they send us a lot of this pipeline. What is the size of this PVC? 107 mm. 3 inch, I bet. 3.8 millimeter. Well, it looks like they're getting to a point where they could be having some fun here shortly with the pouring. But uh, they're waiting for the uh, contractor slash engineer to come out here and uh, give them an okay for... Uh, for pouring all this but they still got some work to do to to set up it looks like they have already started pouring i don't know if we can get it and it's a little dark in there but they poured uh one foot of cement in the base to hold everything together on this little handy dandy chute which is actually for forming the uh footings it goes around the footings but they're actually gonna change our our um the way that they uh pour the footings so it's gonna be in a different casing so they don't have as much cracking on the corners uh as they were having problems with these ones so they're fabricating some different stuff to hopefully help the crackings on the corners of the footings Wow, you know, this looks like a really, really good mix. It's uh, mainly uh, all cem uh, Portland cement, and I would suspect a little bit of uh, uh, sand in there. So, I guessed wrong earlier with the, the pouring on the, on the footings and the, the base. It is uh, one, two, four, so uh, one bag of uh, Portland cement. Two bags of sand and four bags of uh, gravel that's going in this mixture for the base. Oh, well, that's a good combination. It's actually the proper one. I know uh, someone on on yesterday's video had actually uh, commented on the different ratios on what it should be. So, and this is exactly what uh, what was said. Just wanted to correct myself on this mixture combination. The guys have uh, moved the cement mixer over to the holes because they're pouring a lot more uh, concrete into these holes, so it's a lot easier for the so for them just just dump it right into the hole, so it just runs right in there. So it's a lot easier. I mean, it's tougher for the guys with the bags that are uh, having to take it over to it instead of the little light buckets. Now they gotta pack all the concrete over there and uh, the gravel and sand t to mix it, but uh, I think it's easier for them to dump it out. So, and they're prepping the next set of holes. I'm not sure if they'll get these ones poured today. I mean, we got, I think, three more hours or so to go. It's almost two o'clock, so they gotta break at three. So we'll see how far they get uh, setting up these next, uh, the base plates and the footings. So they have a measurement from the, uh, from the base course and you can see there is a uh, marker in there where they can measure 30 centimeters. We are going to catch the last pour for the day. So. Figured it'd be entertaining to watch them. I hadn't gotten to watch them at all yet today to pour. So and these bags are about halfway full, so it's a lot lighter for them to pack them around and put them in. So that's why your the numbers will be like really crazy when you're watching them put these uh the gravel and the sand in. It's
going pretty good. You might say it looks watery, but the leftover uh, gravel is right there that they have to shovel it right there. My husband are trying to supervise everyone. Look like a boss. Alright, catch. This one looks pretty nice. Pretty solid on cement. All right, everybody. Today it is the end of the work day. Got some uh, concrete poured. Tomorrow will be another day of the same thing. I would suspect we'll uh, see how far we get. Uh, I know they got to do a bunch of more digging to uh, connect everything together, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. We actually have really dark black clouds coming. If you see that over there. But uh, it's supposed to be thunderstorms maybe tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video. Please like it. Uh, subscribe. If you have not, hit the little bell button down in the corner. And uh, you'll get notified. And you can see uh, Maricel and I doing our house build or all of our other little fun adventures here in the Philippines. Until tomorrow, I'll see you later.